Hello everyone, I hope you're having a lovely sunny day because here in Connemara it's just damp and drizzly again. It's difficult to dry herbs at this, you know, when the conditions are like this. This year has just been very damp. But um, the main focus today is making deodorant and I'm using herbs to make two types of natural deodorants and um, I'm using fresh herbs and dried herbs. It has been difficult <laughs> to dry herbs in this current climate. <laughs> the dogs want their dinner, so I'll have to be quick. So usually I just hang herbs to dry in the kitchen or put them in paper bags or I put them on cake racks because they're cooling trays rather. And I have a couple of these other racks that Lol made for me that are old picture frames covered in netting so that the air can circulate. I've also got a couple of baskets above the range which I've never had to do before but it's just because otherwise the summer will be gone and I won't have dried enough herbs to see us through the winter so I have lovely nettles here drying and a couple of other things. I've got red clover here which is nearly ready now to, to put away. So back to today, look at the lovely flowers as well that I received from my friend the hiker this morning. Such a lovely surprise to get those. And they don't live there next to the range, but I just wanted them to be in the film because they're so gorgeous. And talking of gorgeous things, I got this from a lovely lady called Leanne. She sells these on her Etsy shop. Um, they're beautiful mandalas, There's an immense amount of work gone into it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and her little shop is called Patterns of Pisces. I'll put it in the link below if you want to go and check it out. So back to the deodorant. I think Jazz needs a bit of deodorant. She's scratching. Okay, so I have here coconut oil which has just melted. So I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm going to chop up these fresh rose petals. Rose is very, very cooling as a, a medicinal plant and um, it's great for inflammatory conditions. So because it's so cooling and it smells so beautiful, I thought it would be lovely to put some fresh petals into, well that's a bit hot, into the coconut oil. <laughs> These dogs have been a total nuisance. So they're in there and they're just, I'm just going to let that oil cool down and go semi-solid and we'll get back to that shortly. So to make your homemade dusting powder, which you can use as a deodorant under your arms or you can just use it instead of talc, which we now know is very dangerous, we're going to mix... Um, equal quantities of bread soda or baking soda, which is bicarbonate of soda, with equal quantities of either corn flour or arrowroot. So I'm going to use arrowroot just because it's been open for longer. So I have about two tablespoons of each one, the bicarbonate of soda and the arrowroot. And just give those a little mix up. I'm going to put this into a coffee grinder, not because it needs to be ground, but because I want the petals to be ground. So again, cooling anti-inflammatory rose petals. And I'm putting in some dried calendula petals as well because calendula is a lymph cleanser and because this is going under the arms, I just thought, why not put in some lovely calendula petals? Because after all, our main lymph glands are there on the left. So, as I said, the bicarbonate of soda and the arrowroot, they don't need to be ground up, but I want the petals to be ground up so that they're very small, like the powders. So here goes. So 
So there you are, there's your dusting powder. Two seconds, I have a little, little pad, or you could use a damp face cloth or flannel, and you would just dab anywhere you want to. It cools you down, it makes you feel fresh, it makes you feel pampered, and it's a lovely thing to use after a bath. So I'd just like to say thanks to Gina for that, um, that recipe. If you decide to make your solid deodorant, you need to get a little container. So I've got this old little tin. There's a little bit left in it. Um, and I'm just going to use, make enough to fill this tin. So I think I will... Um, Use the same quantities as I did for the dusting powder. So I'm going to take two tablespoons of bicarbonate of soda. And I'm going to take two tablespoons of arrowroot, exactly the same. And you could use corn flour instead of arrowroot. It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to just pop those together in a larger container. Mix them up a little bit. And then you simply add enough of the coconut oil to, to bring it all together. So it's like making a pastry dough or something. Something like that, or a bread dough. You're mixing your, your, your powders into the coconut oil. I'm just going to put the coconut oil with the rose petals in here now. I've underestimated the coconut oil, so I'm going to add a little bit more straight from the jar. I think it's empowering to, to make your own deodorant because, you know, too many people are jumping on this eco-natural, sustainable bandwagon and it's business as usual. Whereas if you make it yourself, you know you're getting the natural product and you know you're getting something that's going to work with your body instead of suppressing natural systems and natural um, behaviour. You know, I remember when I was young, everybody was using antiperspirant because nobody wanted to look sweaty. And I, I, I was thinking about it, I thought, you know, it's so silly. What is wrong with looking a bit sweaty? It's a perfectly natural and normal and healthy bodily function. Maybe I'm just getting too old to care about those things, but um, I'd rather be healthy than look completely dry. I'm mixing the, the powders into the coconut oil and the rose petals are in there as well. They look nice. I, I like the fact that I know they're in there. Um, they're cooling, they're anti-inflammatory, so they're, and they're going to hopefully release their lovely rose aroma and um, just make this so much more pleasant to use. Bear in mind, this is still soft now because it was, it was gently heated earlier. And when it goes into its little container, it will solidify a little bit more. And so it is going to um, be harder in the future. So I'm just going to also add a few drops of rose essential oil. And because this is not just for me, I'm also going to add a little bit of vetiver, which is more masculine, but I just absolutely love it. It's so earthy. So I'll just mix those in. And now I'm going to put it in its little tub. And that's cost about, I don't know, the jar was $2.99. So we'll say $1.50. This is pennies. Um, you know, it's very, very cheap. I've only used a couple of spoonfuls. So let's say it's cost three euros altogether. That's a huge difference to the one I saw in the health shop, which was 19.99. 19.99 for coconut oil and bicarbonate of soda. I just think, you know, the world we're moving into, everybody's becoming a specialist. Nobody knows the way the whole thing works. Just do it yourself. And then you're guaranteed something 
that's been made with your own human energy, your personal touch, and a bit of thought for yourself, your body, and the environment. When that goes into the bathroom, it'll get a bit harder. You just, to use it, you simply run your finger across. You get a smear, which you rub under your arms. That's all, that's why this has lasted us so long. It must be about a year, nine months since I made it before. And in, a, in the bathroom, which is a cool place, it stays fresh. I forgot to add a few drops of the oil into the dusting powder, so I'm just going to do that now. Which one is this? This is the rose. Just, just mix it in. Mm -mm. And there you go, that's it. When I get out of the bath this evening, I'm just going to smell like a beautiful floral bouquet and I'll feel fresh and pampered and my skin will be soft and refreshed and no harming of any person for the making of this film. I just want to say, you, um, before commercial deodorants appeared, people were using products like this and the rumour was that they left terrible stains on your clothes. I haven't found that, but um, I don't know, maybe you have if you've tried making deodorant. I haven't found any marks on our clothes whatsoever. So I just want to put that out there before people say, oh, you can't do this because you get white marks on your clothes. The instructions for both recipes are below the video, in the box below, where you'll find out um, links so that you can find out about me and my website and my books that are for sale. And also I'll put the link for the Etsy shop, Patterns of Pisces. And uh, if, you liked, if you enjoyed the film, hit the subscribe button and press the bell so that you get notified. And I will see you next week. So thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.